Hello, brilliant math detectives. Welcome back to Reading Redness Centers, where we embark on another thrilling math expedition. Today, we are delving deep into the captivating realm of factors and multiples. Grab your magnifying glasses and sharpen your pencils, because this is going to be an adventure packed with numbers. Let's start with a clue. See these 20 blocks. How can we share them fairly among friends? Maybe in four rows of five blocks each. Or five rows of four blocks each. Or two rows with ten blocks each. See how these groupings reveal something special. They are like secret agents that divide our number into smaller, equal parts. In this case, 4 and 5 are factors of 20 because 4 times 5 is equal to 20. Now, what is a factor? A factor is a number that, when multiplied by another number, results to a product. It is a number that can divide a given number without a remainder. For instance, the factors of 6 are 1, 2, 3, and 6. And here's a fun fact. 1 is the smallest factor of all numbers. What's a factor pair? But factors don't always work alone. They often come in pairs like best friends. A factor pair is a set of two numbers that results to a product of a specific number. For example, 3 and 4 are a factor pair of 12 because 3 times 4 is equal to 12. Think of them as partners in crime solving. Every number has at least two factors, one and itself. But some numbers like 2, 3, 5, and 7 are special. They only have two factor pairs, themselves and one. We call them prime numbers the sneaky ninjas of the number world. Let's shift our focus to multiples, a fascinating sequence of numbers following a specific rule. A multiple is the product of a given number and any whole number. The smallest multiple of a number is the number itself. They are like a growing family, always bigger than their parent number. Behold this table of multiples for 3. For example, 3, 6, 9, 12, and 15 are all multiples of 3 because they are made by multiplying 3 by different numbers. The smallest multiple of any number is itself, like 8 for 8. Remember, multiples keep growing like magic, just skip count to find them. Now, let's bridge the relationship between factors and multiples. Factors and multiples are like two sides of the same coin. Remember our 20 blocks. By arranging them in an array of four rows with five blocks each, we unveil that 4 and 5 are factors of 20. How? Because 4 multiplied by 5 equals 20. Consequently, 20 is a multiple of both 4 and 5. Now, an engaging activity awaits. The Factor Finder. Can you unveil all the factors of 45? Grab your magnifying glasses and let's document them. Hint, list all the factor pairs first. Hint, think factor pairs. Write them down on your magnifying glasses just like a real detective. So, the factors of 45 are 1, 3, 5, 9, 15 and 45. Now, let's test your multiple mastery. Which of these numbers are sneaky multiples of 4? Hint, a multiple is a product of a given number and any whole number. Get ready to use your skip counting skills. The numbers 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, and 36 are multiples of 4 because they can be divided evenly by 4 without any remainders. Let's now consolidate our detective skills. A factor is a number that when multiplied by another number results to a product. Conversely, a multiple is the product of a given number and any whole number. And with that, our captivating journey into factors and multiples draws to a close. If you relished our math adventure, remember to hit that like button, share this video with fellow math enthusiasts, 
and subscribe to Reading Redness Centers for a plethora of exciting learning experiences. Keep those math detective hats on, and until our next exploration, happy learning.